21st century, horror films have helped us process the unthinkable. Confront the most terrifying and unforgettable films of all time. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Paranormal Activity. Dracula. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It was a part that my name was on every page. It just began to permeate the entire culture. Good times, bad times, people need entertainment. And in the bad times, they'll go see horror movies. James. Hey, Jeffrey. Nice to I, meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too, man. It's such a thrill. I, uh, what an incredible series. So congratulations. You can see I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I was going to say that's a rockin' shirt. What is that? Is that oh, Frankenstein? It's, <laughs> it's Famous Monsters of Filmland. <laughs> nice. So I've got this one. I've got the Creatures in Black Lagoon. i got Dracula. Godzilla versus uh, King Kong. So I only wear these on special occasions because, uh, <laughs> you know. I have a, I should have worn my, I have a, my daughter bought me a Camp Crystal Lake t-shirt. Oh. I have um, a um a Dickies kind of style one that says Camp Counselor and it says Camp yeah yeah Counselor. I have like something like that yeah yeah so I couldn't <laughs> figure out what to wear today I had a thousand <laughs> shirts and I at first I was wearing Friday the Thirteenth and I go no I got to wear Frankenstein you know so I don't know <laughs> yeah. now I know how women feel when they go out when they get dressed and I can't figure out what to wear <laughs> yeah exactly well man congratulations on a great series you know it, it, this revisits the shocks and the scares from classic movie moments from the thirties to today it had to be a blast putting this five part series together. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was it was, uh, you know, a job of a lifetime. You know, you have this iconic horror company, Blumhouse, who's kind of this leader in this horror renaissance. I'm a huge horror fan. And then to get to like work on, you know, curating the greatest horror movies and, and this uh, amazing thesis of how they reflect fear throughout the decades and, and how we come together around them. I mean, it was awesome. Yeah, I loved it. And you have uh, experts, historians, and some of the biggest names in Hollywood. Can you drop some of the names you got for this series? Because you got Robert Englund, of course, and who narrates, but also yeah. my favorite, Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell, yeah, it was awesome. I mean, I grew up, I mean, I, I remember seeing Army of Darkness at a drive through like with my friends <laughs> when I was not old enough. And I remember sneaking down when I, you know, when I was 12 or 13, sneaking downstairs to turn on CBS at two in the morning to watch, you know, um, uh, Dream Warriors and, <laughs> and all that. So I grew up with these guys for sure. So yeah, Robert England, Bruce Campbell, um, Patton Oswald, Kevin Smith, and then on, you know, the horror front, like Jamie Lee Curtis, Judy Greer, John Carpenter, um, Sean Cunningham, that was awesome. Um, there's just so many amazing names in it. And then all the experts were amazing too. I mean, it was, it was really, um, it was such a thrill. You had to be excited every time that a star would say, yes, I'm on, on board for the documentary. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that was, we, we had a wish list of like, you know, a thousand people we went out to everyone and, 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 uh, Blumhouse was huge in that. And, and Jason going out to people and Jeremy Gold going out to people for us. <laughs> and Chris and, and, and uh, MGM plus or Epics, Michael Wright and Jill, just everybody like going out to people and asking them to, to participate. And, and it, what was so cool is that the people that we did interview, they were, they were not just like talking, like they were so passionate about horror movies. So it was such a thrill to meet horror icons that are passionate about horror movies. That was so fun. And where does your influence come from? Meaning, do you have an iconic horror moment in your life? I mean, something that you just said about, you know, Dream Warriors and some others. Do you have like a specific memory that, you know, for a horror film that you have a connection to? Yeah, I mean, a lot. I have a lot. <laughs> I have a connection to a lot of horror films. <laughs> Me too. I got a laundry list I wanted to tell you too. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm like, you know, it's like, what's your favorite? I don't know. Um, I, you know, I, I got into horror in the eighties when, you know, eighties and nineties when I was growing up. So, um, not, you know, the nightmare on Elm street, like I said, sneaking down to watch uh, dream warriors, which was the first time I ever saw nightmare on Elm street. I was 12 or 13 and just thought it was amazing. And, and, um, a lot of my memories of horror really are just come from like that, the experience of the video store, you know, which, which people don't recognize anymore, but like going to the video store, finding like that, that, uh, horror section and then pulling off these kind of just crazy titles off the shelf that I'd never heard of and then like you know taking a batch of VHS home and watching it so stuff like you know like Basket Case or you know Cannibal Holocaust or like those kind of iconic Maniac Cop <laughs> Maniac Cop Deranged Three Out of Meat Hook like all those like that's where I kind of like 
really gravitated to as, as a younger horror aficionado. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, for me, kindergarten back in the early 70s, my sister brought me down to see Night of Living Dead, the original. And I was oh, like, man, I know my parents. Yeah, I was so traumatized to this day. I have a thing about zombies, you know, that that freaked me out. <laughs> Uh, also, I was 12 years old when the original Halloween came out. So, I, you know, at school, everyone would talk about it in junior high. If you you weren't anyone unless you saw Halloween. So I snuck in with some friends and at 12, and that was traumatizing, you know. And then, of course, I'm Generation X. So I, I grew up with all the Freddy movies and the and the um, mm -hmm. Jason movies first run. I mean, those were like a, the second golden age of horror films, you know. It was just an amazing time. Yeah. I remember in a time like like it was so it was so different back in the 80s and 90s. Like I remember, you know, someone coming up to me and saying, I, you know, I rented Friday the 13th part six and talking about how Jason would kill this person in a sleeping bag by slamming them on the tree. And it's like, yes. oh my God, I have to see that. <laughs> and and so it was kind of those kind of experiences. Oh, they were events. We were there opening night, opening weekend, yeah. <laughs> we were a teenager, you know. And I love some of the themes you have unholy dreams, American monsters, atomic nightmares. Uh Paramount just released this 4K of George Powell double feature of War of the Worlds. Oh man, War awesome. Worlds collide. So that just came out. So I got that to watch. Um, but I love uh, all the different themes you have, but you got to add something. If you do another series, you got to add comedy because I think Evan Costello Me Frankenstein is like one of the greatest <laughs> horror comedy films of all time. So there's a whole genre of comedy horror out there you got to explore. Yeah, we, we did. In episode one, we touched on, you know, the idea that uh, the Universal Monster, the Universal uh, Carl Emily Jr. and the Universal Pictures kind of monster movies came out, and then those kind of kind of evolved or devolved into kind of this kind of comedic horror genre. We talked about that in episode one, kind of briefly, um, you know, and and then and then Frankenstein, which like like your shirt, Frankenstein, who is this very scary, you know, figure kind of you later on you see him in shows like the Munsters and and he and he and and he kind of becomes more of a a trope versus like a scary being kind yeah, of thing so we did touch on that in episode one I mean there's so many things we could have talked about it was just right. you know we only had five hours I know yeah yeah young Frank young Frankenstein also the groovy ghoulies when I was a kid that was a popular cartoon yeah from well, like America. monster squad you know I remember yeah, the that. monster squad like, yeah see there's a I tell you, whole episode yeah. there James <laughs> yeah. whole episode right there and and finally today, tell me about uh, your relationship with Jason Blum and Blumhouse Studios, because he's done so much to, for today's horror films, The Purge, Paranormal Activity, the reboot of Halloween, you know, mm -hmm. and you worked with him on Fall River. So is he just like an incredible man to work for his vision? Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, <laughs> it's it's hard to know where to start. I mean, yeah, it's he's, true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely passionate about horror movies and he's very um inspiring guy like uh um to talk to and 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 work with um and you know i think i mean this this whole series came out of um uh, uh you know discussions with you know uh, michael wright at epics and jason and, and and it was it was it's just a thrill like every day to show up there and, and uh be part of this kind of like horror renaissance that's going on at blumhouse and i i have a tradition i speak to him every year on the uh, the red carpet for halloween horror nights at universal Studios. oh cool and and every every year i ask him where are we with friday the 13th he wants to do that so bad but it's in development hell all the rights you know from the original uh studio to the to the um screenwriter to like, it's just a nightmare right now so but every year i ask him where are we with friday the 13th and he's like <laughs> He's like, it's a true horror film in real life where it's we're nowhere near getting that rebooted. So yeah, yeah. I wish I knew more because I'm a huge <laughs> I know horror I, fan. I wish I could tell you I'm a huge Friday 13th fan myself. I, you know, I I own all the movies. I've, right. I've you know participated in retrospectives. I, I love it. I've gotten to meet like all the people involved. Um, I would love to see it. I would love to see it. <laughs> well, until then, we have this incredible docu-series on Epics. You know, thank you so much for joining me today. It was a total thrill. I could talk to you all day. And uh, <laughs> good luck with the series. And uh, come visit us in Las Vegas soon, man. We'd love to have you. Will do. Thanks, man. Thank you. <laughs>